to sitting or lying comfortably on the mat. And welcome to class everybody, I'm Shavita, those of you who don't know me. And today's class is going to be a 30 minute yin class to really nurture our inner beings. So let's just take a couple of deep breaths to acknowledge the present moment. So lying down on your backs, placing your hands on your bellies. So welcome to class, everybody. And let's just connect to our breath. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. As you exhale, just letting go of anything that may happen today. And as you inhale, inhale presence for the next 30 minutes for you to dedicate to yourself. To really connect to the inner you. So surrender to the present moment. You're completely safe here on your mat. And then we're going to extend one leg and we're going to bend one knee and we're going to bring that knee in to our armpit and we're going to hold it here. So yin yoga is about going deep. It's about holding something, a posture for a bit longer than the comfortable 30 seconds. So we're just going to warm up the body before we go into our deep holding postures. So change legs, hugging in your knee, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. And then gently releasing Hug both knees in. Lift your chest up, see if you can grab hold of your elbows. And hug those knees in. And then gently, we're gonna come up into child's pose. Now, if you want to, you can grab hold of your pillow. And have your knees nice and wide. We're just gonna surrender. Or you can have your arms long, whatever suits you, okay? Up to you. And we're just going to surrender on the mat. Toes touching, knees nice and wide. And you're just going to breathe. And we're going to be here for a couple of minutes. So as you're in this posture of child's pose, usually we're only here for about 30 seconds. But today we're gonna to be here for a little bit longer. So use, as a, use your breath as a tool to open up your body. And as we melt into this, you can make little tweaks and little adjustments by maybe opening up your knees a bit wider, reaching your fingers a bit longer, resting your forehead on the mat. And you're going to breathe in and breathe out. There's a couple of things happening here. Your upper back, your shoulders are opening up, your hips are opening up. And you're breathing in and you're breathing out. And we hold on to a lot of emotions in our hips. So just stay here. And really just accept the present moment of your breath in child's pose.
and stay here with your breath. Sometimes staying still, our minds and our bodies start getting fidgety. So this is when the yin comes in where we have to really stay in the present moment and allow our bodies to open up. And we're creating space in our con connective tissues that have been compressed. So we're giving those connective tissues time to expand and soften. Take three more breaths here. And then we're going to go up and we're going to melt our hearts down so your knees are together, your buttocks is high and if you can your chin on the mat and this is opening up the upper back and surrender, surrendering here. And use your breath as a tool to help you be in the present moment. Your mind might play tricks on you. Telling you to get out, it's not comfortable, it's too deep. Listen to your body. Make those tiny adjustments to make it comfortable. And use your breath as a tool to help open up your body. One breath of time. And see if you can lengthen that breath a bit. See if you can surrender into the posture a little bit more. Surrender into your body. And then gently come back up. Oh good, it sometimes feels a bit stiff, so just come up onto all fours. We're gonna inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. And then neutralize your spine, take your ear to your shoulder. And change sides. And again. One more time. And then we're gonna come up onto our knees. Your toes are tucked in slightly. When we come up into a sitting position, we're going to grab hold of our elbows and relax the shoulders down. Now here, our little toes and our feet are getting challenged. If this is comfortable holding onto your elbows, you could also bring your hands into prayer behind you. Up to you. Close your eyes and breathe. Let's take five more deep breaths here. Beautiful. Keep your pillow next to you in case you need it. We're going to come up onto all fours and we're going to tuck the toes under into downward facing dog. You're just going to walk it out. And then we're going to open up our hips and lift up your left leg. Open up your hip. And then take your left foot to your right hand. 
And then if you want to, you bring your pillow. And then you can double it up if you want to. It's up to you. And then we're just going to rest here. We're going to rest here. If you want to, you can peer, put your pillow there. So make your adjustments. Use your pillow as a tool, okay? To make it comfortable for you. And surrender to the posture. Surrender in this moment. And you're breathing in and breathing out, staying connected to that breath. Again, we're opening up the connective tissues. You may feel it on your hip, your lower back. And you might have the urge to fidget around. But use your breath. Give yourself permission to be here in this moment, in this posture. Nice long deep breaths in, nice long deep breath out. There's nowhere to go, there's nothing to do, except be here. Breathing in to wherever you may be feeling any tightness, and see if you can use your breath as a tool to help open up your body. You can sort of make little adjustments to see if you can take yourself to your edge, wherever that might be today. And when you get to that edge, breathe into it and get comfortable before you move to your new edge. So yin yoga is about connecting to your breath and being still in one position, which can be quite challenging at times, especially in this life where we're always on the move, something to do, somewhere to go. Take three more breaths here. And then gently releasing out of it and coming back on your back. And breathe. Take a mental note of the difference between your left and your right and let the magic happen. And then we're going to turn around and come back into downward facing dog, tuck in the toes. Walking it out, and this time we're going to lift up the right leg, open up the right hip, and then bring that right foot to the left hand. Make your adjustments, grab your pillow, and get comfortable, and breathe. Conscious breaths. Breathing in, breathing out. See if you can lengthen that breath. And make those little adjustments. Going to an edge, a new edge. And then when you get to that edge, 
There shouldn't be any pain or anything. It just should feel comfortably stretched. And then get comfortable at that edge. And breathe. And make those little adjustments. And really staying present with the breath. Closing your eyes and being in the moment. See if you can use your breath as a tool to help to open up your body. And we can hold on to emotions in our body. And when we stretch, and when we open up our bodies, we can release sometimes those emotions that have been held into our bodies for years sometimes. So yoga is a tool of releasing. Releasing tightness, releasing tension, releasing emotions. take three more breaths here and then gently releasing and lying down on your back lying down on your back Breathing in and breathing out. And then we're going to bring the soles of our feet together. And you're just going to relax and breathe. See if you can make those little adjustments and bring the soles closer to your groin area. Nice long deep breaths out, nice long deep breaths in. I find placing my hands on my belly helping me to connect with my breath. Brings me back to the present moment. Five more deep breaths here. And then gently release. Gonna inhale, lift up our hands and stretch our fingers and toes away from each other. Now take your hands over to the left and take your feet over to the left, like you're creating a little banana shape. And bring your left foot up, your right foot over your left foot and then grab hold of your right hand and you're in this banana shape so you're feeling a stretch on one side of your body and breathe in and breathe out And 
five more deep breaths in. And then let's take it over to the other side. So you're grabbing hold of your left hand and you're bringing your left foot over your right and you're creating a banana shape with your body. Relax your shoulders down, relax your jaw, your tongue, your lips and breathe. Breathing in, breathing out. Five more deep breaths here. And then gently release. You can hug your knees in. Have a little rock one way. Have a little rock the other way. Now bring your pillow over. And then we're gonna just bring your right knee over your left leg and turn your head away. And bring your hands up over your head and you can grab hold of your elbows if you want. And breathe. opposite knee over your opposite leg turning your head away slightly grabbing hold of the elbows if you want five more deep breaths here coming back changing sides bending one knee bringing it over your body turning your head away and if you want to grabbing hold of your elbows <coughs> sorry about that guys and breathing in and breathing out you can bring your knee your pillow in between your knees if you want Breathe in and breathe out. Three more deep breaths here. in. Lift your head up and see if you can grab hold of your elbows. It doesn't matter if you can't. Tuck your chin in slightly, relax your shoulders and breathe. Giving yourself a beautiful hug on Mother's Day. Mother's Day hug to yourself for showing up for you. And then you can just gently release and if there's any last minute stretch you would like to do before we go into our guided meditation do so so stay lying on your mat and I will come up to sitting and we're gonna go 
into our meditation. So close your eyes. And breathe. And as you exhale, just surrender to your mat. And as you inhale, be in the present moment with yourself. Just focusing on your breath, moving through your body. Nothing else to think about but your breath. In this moment you're completely safe. Surrender on your mat. Take your breath, take your attention to your toes. You're relaxing your toes. You're relaxing your toes. Take your breath Take your attention to your ankles. You're relaxing your ankles. You're relaxing your ankles. Take your breath. Take your attention to your calves. You're relaxing your calves. You're relaxing your calves. Your shins are relaxed. Your shins are relaxed. Relax your knees, relax your knees. You're relaxing your thighs, you're relaxing your thighs. Relax your hips, relax your hips. Take a big breath into your belly, you're relaxing your belly, you're relaxing your belly. Your lower back's relaxed, your lower back's relaxed. Take a big breath into your chest. You're relaxing your chest, you're relaxing your chest. Your upper back's relaxed, your upper back's relaxed. Relax your shoulders, relax your shoulders. You're relaxing your jaw, your tongue, your lips, your cheek muscles. Your whole body is nice and relaxed. And you're giving yourself permission to be here in this moment for you. The gift of time for you. So stay connected with your breath. Stay here just for a few minutes. And as we lie, on the mat, I will just share something with you on today's Mother Day, Mother's Day. Most people believe that sacrifice and compromise are necessary to preserve a relationship. This is, a, this is based on a misunderstanding of the nature of the universe. The universe is loving and abundant and we all can receive everything we need without sacrifice as we learn to feel and express our needs honestly and clearly to ourselves and to our loved ones. We naturally begin to listen more deeply to the needs of others. On the surface, 
there often seems to be conflict between our needs and those of others. But with patience and honesty, we will discover an underlining truth in which each person can have his or her needs fulfilled. In express my needs honestly, listening to the needs of others and to look for the deepest truth. Happy Mother's Day. Gently come back to your breath. Wiggling your toes. Wiggling your fingers. Turning your head left to right. And slowly bending your knees and rolling over to one side. And whenever you're ready, you can come back up to sitting. I thank you for allowing me into your living rooms and sharing this time with you. Have a fantastic Mother's Day. I appreciate you. And if you feel like you would like to contribute to these classes, there's a link attached. Whatever calls you, have a fantastic day. Thank you so much.